An after lunch coffee at the Millworks in Cambridge, one of 55 million cups we consume every day. And like Millworks, the Miller Centre in Cambridge is keen to recycle as much as possible. We've been recycling lots of uh, our food waste for many years, uh, but to be able to separate the beans and then for those to be able to be processed uh, and used as a source of heating, we thought it was just a terrific addition or another layer to what we're already doing. And this is where that transformation begins, with a hill of beans. In a couple of hangars on the former Cold War airfield at Alconbury near Huntingdon. The brainchild of Arthur Kay in 2013, the waste ground coffee is separated, sieved and dried, then compressed into clean, solid fire logs. Each log contains the waste grounds of about 25 cups of coffee. Biobean have so far sold the equivalent of 20 million cups. In the UK, we drink about 55 million cups of coffee every single day, and that results in about half a million tonnes of coffee waste produced every year and a lot of that ends up sitting on a landfill site somewhere producing horrible emissions and we want to find a way to do something different with it. It seems such a simple solution and the concept is spreading fast. At one point in time, you know, a good cup of coffee was something that tasted good. Um, then we wanted, you know, we wanted to know a bit more about where it came from, what its journey was. We became interested in farming, supply chain. Um, now we've gone sort of even beyond that and we want to know not only where it came from but where is it going next where is the waste going what happens to the ground what happens to my cup after i've enjoyed my coffee the proof of the pudding is of course in the heating so let's give it a go it caught fire really quickly didn't smell of coffee and lasted for a good hour a simple invention that could easily set the world alight kate prout ITV News, Cambridgeshire.